Hey, hi, thanks for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Today's the 3rd of June. So we're rolling along. Like I said, it's my birthday month. Tons of great things are happening regarding Scientology. If you're going to write up something for the Australian submission, check on xscientology.net because they have how to write up a submission. And there's a specific way for people in America <clears throat> that you need to look at. And or it's on why we protest. I, and I, it might be on Operation Clam or uh, OCMB also. I mean, yeah, Zenu.net. Anyway, you can find it there. Write it up. So that's happening. And then, as I said in my last video, the the Pasadena Org is opening up in a couple of weeks, two to three weeks. So uh, we should definitely plan a picket for their opening. So that's a good thing. So things are rolling along around the world. And Miscavige, if you think you're going to hide from this, no way. You know, you 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 can just drive around your orgs anywhere in the world, and you can see they're empty. You know, you may be buying more buildings, but that's all you've got. You've got a four-story building in Pasadena. You're going to fill that up with people? I can't wait to see this one. Oh, boy. All right, so anyway, along with all of the Scientology stuff, I do plan on various different adventures because I love to have fun. And uh, so yesterday, a friend and I decided, let's see where we can go in Los Angeles on rapid transit. I'm from Chicago, um, and in most major cities, they have really good rapid transit where you can get all around for very inexpensively. Los Angeles is not one of those areas, although they're starting to pick up. They now have a subway that goes quite a few different places. You can go from Burbank to Pasadena. You can go from Burbank to Long Beach, which are, these are huge long distances in a car. And with gas the way it is, it's great to take rapid transit. So we decided we were going to go out to the beach, which, you know, I... It seemed like impossible years ago, but my niece came from Chicago, went to her city hall, got all the different maps and things like that, found out all the different, you know, places, where you could go, you know, on which kind of buses, which different things went where, and literally went everywhere here in Los Angeles. So anyway, we started on our trip yesterday. We decided we were going to go, and I'll show you on a map. We were, we're in, let's see, Burbank, hang on, which is like right up here. You know, so we're in Burbank. Here's, and there are long distances of this. Here's downtown Los Angeles. We had to go underneath these mountains in the subway. And then, no wait, was that downtown? Yeah, I think that is. That's downtown Los Angeles, that is. And then we had to go, so we took the subway to like Western and Hollywood. And then we got a different subway all the way down to Wilshire Boulevard. And then Wilshire Boulevard took us all the way out. Hang on. Took us all the way from back there all the way out to literally this pier, which is Santa Monica Pier. So I believe that's it. Yep, Santa Monica Pier. That's it. So we went all the way out there. We, um, there's a promenade out there, so we cruised around the promenade, talked to people. It was very fun, you know, meeting people there. And I was going to videotape it, but my, my uh, camera, again, I'm having trouble with the battery. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, I'll have to get that fixed today or tomorrow. So I didn't have the video. But anyway, we went on that, then we went out to the pier. The pier was really cool. People are fishing out there, and there's all kinds of cool little stores and things like that. And just seeing the beach was wonderful. Oh, yeah, and that was the other thing. They had these huge, first of all, they had this lifeguard um, truck that was in the beach. And the beach is gigantic. It's like about a half a mile long in width, you know, let alone miles and miles long wide, right? And they had this lifeguard truck that was crashed on the beach. And I missed this, but I saw it later coming back. I went down to the, the end of the beach where you're right out in the ocean and then all the way back. And I look in the beach, and here are these huge huge footprints in the beach. I mean, like 40 feet big, you know, just gigantic footprints, right? And it was, it's for King Kong. It's an average, I asked somebody there, I said, what is this? You know, because it was like so wild. And they said, no, it showed up the, in the morning that, they, that by the time they got there at 10 in the morning, the footprints were there and the crash thing. And it's an advertisement for uh, Universal for King Kong. So anyway, that was kind of cool. But here's how much we paid. We're seniors. So you can get a senior discount. That's one of the cool things. But here's how much it was for the day pass. The dollar eighty. That means all the way out to the beach, including the subways and the bus, and all the way back for dollar eighty. Not bad, huh? 
And even if you aren't a senior for a day pass, it's only five dollars for all day. You can you can go all around. You can take a subway all the way to Long Beach, cruise around there. The Queen Mary's down there and all kinds of nifty stuff. Come back for five bucks. You know, it's really a good deal. So anyway, that's that's my video for today. Make sure if you, again, if you haven't done your submission, get it in. They need them. And um, plan on our picket for in a couple weeks for Pasadena. And keep doing what you're doing because definitely things are rolling along. And make sure you have fun while you're doing it, okay? Because that's a key part of just happiness, I believe, is doing things, doing something different. You know, this was something different. Neither of us had ever gone that far on rapid transit here in Los Angeles and it definitely worked and it was fun. So there you go. I hope you have an excellent week and I will talk to you soon. I love you all. Bye-bye.